Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this fireside chat with our customer Granger. And I have here with me Mihir Shah, who is the leader of marketing technology at Granger, as well as Monica Picard, the business analyst. Welcome. Thank you. Great to be here. Yeah, thank you. It's great to have you. Thank you for coming on board and, and sharing your story, your story of digital transformation, of how um, that's changed throughout the years with Granger, how you've used a Primo as part of that uh, transformation. So very glad to have you and thank you for um, joining us. What, what were some of the challenges? What was the environment? What caused that to become a need for Granger at that time? to to have this transformation happen? Um, I I think the biggest driver for us was the competitive pressure and the way the industry was moving in the digital way. Uh, Definitely 2020 has accelerated that, but our recognition that we needed to be more digital than traditional was important in the sense we had to have the right technology that would enable us to move faster. We had to have the technology that integrated well with other technologies and the technology platform that was easier for our stakeholders, our end users. So that was some of the things internal Mm -hmm. that was driving us to move faster and drive, go towards digital transformation. We brought in a Primo's new version, which is the cloud version. Uh, We installed that. We integrated our marketing ecosystem to work better together. So we integrated a Primo with Adobe Experience Manager because our assets were all stored in AEM, created using Adobe's Creative Cloud, but actually executed through the workflow module within a Primo. Mm -hmm. So that connection was very important for us because it generated and allowed us to make that process more smoother and improve our ability to produce more content because our demand was higher. Now I'm jumping here, but our role, our team's role is to support everything that's related to marketing technology operations. So we are helping everything around workflow management using a Primo, like creating an asset, making sure the campaigns are ready with the designs, annotations, and all our assets are approved for legal uh, approval. At the same time, we are also responsible for some of the online channels technology, Adobe Marketing Cloud, Google Marketing Cloud, uh, some of our end channels that we use for demand generation. Walk us back a little bit how that was, that journey for you and um, where it is today and how you've seen it transform. my years at a Primo, excuse me, my years at Granger, I've been um, in the marketing department in different roles throughout that time and used to actually manage projects as a project manager. And before we even had any system in place, we, you know, had Excel files, we had, you know, many meetings. So then we, um, our vice president at the time went out and searched different applications and came back to the table with the Primo. And at that time we used a Primo on demand and we'd been with them since 2011, but we knew with this new product, it could offer us um, with the SaaS product, it could offer us, you know, so much more. So uh, we went through that discovery. And then when we found out that they connected or integrated um, with AEM, that was a huge, huge plus because we needed um, those files, what we refer to as final files to be accessed by everyone in the company. And Mm -hmm. also it saved on productivity time because our end users would go to our creative team, our project managers to try to get access to those files. So this integration has been huge um, between a Primo and AEM. Um, Also it allows for attributes or fields that we can tag on the Primo side and that helps with searching also. Um, We're also using it for um, other, we just started using it to bring some information over from a Primo into AEM, which then can be utilized for access to another application um, for our end users to get to that other application easier. So it's been a huge um, productivity um, 
a huge win all in all. We do hear a lot uh, from customers and one of the, I think, advantages of really having the system, we call it this idea of eliminating work about work so we can focus on the actual work. (laughs) So this idea of eliminating redundancies and requests and having things that are easily accessible, but can, um, so we can focus on, on the efficiencies and the actual work that is needed. I mean, you kind of hit a key point there, right? When you talk about removing work for work, that was our driver. Marketing operations is all about effi- generate, creating efficiency for marketing department, right? And the integration that Monica's referring to between a Primo and AEM, although we were the first, maybe mm-hmm. first few customers who were onboarded on that, and we learned it uh, through trial and error, but at the end, the results were amazing. Uh, I, it's all automated integration. There is hardly any manual intervention when it comes to asset, the final asset that being completed through a Primo and then going into AEM. It's a fully automated, well-oiled integration where we hardly get any errors. And we had to go through that journey. We worked very closely with a Primo customer service and the consulting team. But it was a it was a it was a good effort that's paying dividends for us now. That's just so great to hear. And I just want to add to that too. If we need anything configured, reconfigured, the teams that support that are awesome. They're quick. Um, it's seamless. Um, so I just want to point that out. Also, the support afterwards has been great. That's really great to hear. And that is vital uh, to us as well, because it's not really just only about the technology. You can have the best product. Uh, with the best features, but it's about partnering together and having a strategic partner and someone can go to that, you know, has your back and can help implement it as well as maintain it. How does it work today? Um, And even in the future, what's, what's, what's ahead uh, for marketing operations? So currently how it's being used is, and not to get too much in the weeds, but, um, we have a workflow or workflow set up and there's a particular task that it's a designer task. And at that task, we have um, some various EA set um, for the designer to tag or fill out. And also we have it, um, when they close that task out, that's when the AM uh, trigger will occur and it sends those final files over to AM. And, but it also sends the, fields that they've tagged and it is then inputted into the AEM schema, which has been set up to account for that. So that's another plus because that helps users and users find those inf- that information. And then also AEM after it's been sent over that file, it sends back the AEM URL and populates it into the attachment or that specific attachment. So users can also um, access that AM, that particular asset by clicking on this AM URL, which will bring up the file. Monica, I, I think uh, the other aspect that, that's worth mentioning is also how we are thinking in terms of future. So uh, what Monica described is really how this is working for us efficiently now, but where we want to take this, the next level is we want to be able to personalize or target assets to our customers. For that, it's the metadata that really drives association between a customer segment and an asset. And our future vision for next level of integration is a Primo being able to enrich what Monica was referring to the EAs, which is the extended attributes, such as metadata to say, this particular asset, it belongs to a healthcare facility or it has a healthcare image in it or a manufacturing event. Mm-hmm. Want to capture that data within a Primo when they are being created and populated in AEM via this integration. So then when we publish these assets, we're able to target specific customer sets using that. So that's our end vision. That's the project we are taking up in second half of this year. But that's how we are thinking about moving um, and making the integration even more and, um, helpful for us. Mm-hmm. Do you guys know why did you ultimately select a Primo? I think I think the biggest um, value proposition for a Primo for us is really 
not just the workflow, but marketing manages all our budget and spend related to marketing. And we use that module um, heavily on our site as well. And we have integrations with our ERP system to bring in invoice information for marketing vendors back into a primo. And then a primo is the source of truth for budget. And that budget information actually gets pushed into our ERP. So we manage marketing leverages a primo, not just for workflow, but also leverages for budget and spend management for marketing. That's wonderful. So you have it all in one place yeah. from the beginning to the execution. Yeah, exactly. I don't have any met metrics per se for um, time saving or productivity, but I can just tell you from a creative team perspective, um, as well as just project manager perspective, um, the fact is they, they call it, it keeps them organized, keeps them on task, you know, before it was, um, it was difficult. Um, so now it's, it's, it's much easier for them, I should say. Um, also, they love being able to, you know, the fact that we can annotate, um, that's a big help for our creative teams. Um, but yeah, it's a huge time saver. Um, for everybody being able to see out everything in a primo or get your task, you know, from a primo. Yeah, and I'll add to that. We, we have about 56,000 assets that marketing has produced so far. And in 2020 itself, we produced 8,000 assets that were designed and approved through a primo workflow and got pushed into AEM. And if you see the trajectory of how fast marketing produces asset, you will see an upward trend since 2017, where we are able to produce more assets, create and develop more assets, and push it for publication for consumption. So we're definitely seeing an upward trend from asset production as well. Yeah, yeah and we haven't increased our team size. So that's actually a good thing. We're not talking about this specifically, but there's some other things like with the SaaS product here, um, APIs, the fact that we can do so much more with the APIs because we've done some connections with that. And so that's been a big plus too. And we're looking at perhaps doing more with those APIs, the ability to do that. So there's just, uh, I mean, all sorts of positive about the product and of course, the AM integration spe specifically. What kind of other integrations are you looking to um, explore, or implement? We 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 have, we, we have integrated um, a primo with Power BI. We are also pushing data into Domo for our visualization. And to Monica's earlier point, the open API architecture, it's really easy. Uh, we have our team actually going out and building these connections with other system. So we have, like we've talked throughout as an AEM as a core one, but we've also started now pushing this data from a primo out into Power BI, into Domo. In certain cases, we're also trying to bring in Jira. Some of our IT partners work in Jira, so we had to integrate that as well. So we've also integrated with Jira. Uh, in this partnership with the primo, what's worked in a our favorite um, is really the support we are getting from the consulting team, as well as the account management team. I think, um, and Monica can attest to that as well. It's It's Absolutely. been a great partnership. They've come back to us where we've struggled with maybe it's adoption or maybe it's a new feature that just doesn't work the way we've expected it to work. Um, that partnership and additional investment of effort and time from Oprimo has gone a long way for us. To, to continue this partnership. Yeah, I'll just second that because working with the professional service team, um, the tech team, um, customer service, um, they've all go oh, above and beyond. Yeah, great partners. So thank you so much, uh, both Monica and Meher. It's been so great. And it's been great to hear your story of digital transformation and the things that you're doing at Granger and the, how marketing operations and creative and uh, all throughout uh, Granger is working together. It's, it's really great to hear. Um, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.
It was nice chatting with you. Yeah. Thank you.